Okay, so I'm super excited. I got some new cleaning products for Christmas. You know your old win. This is actually what I ask for, and I'm super excited to try them. Yeah. So both of these products I saw recommended in vlogs. Um, Davis is gonna help. This one I saw recommended in Bits of Brie, and this one I saw in Bits of Brie and Casper Crew. So I will link both of their channels below because they are some of my favorites to watch. But I'm super excited to try them. Um, I do have a Norwex mop that I love, but the problem is Mom. I feel like it doesn't stay wet. So I really wanted to have something Mommy. that had a bucket where I could dip the mop whenever it became dry and I didn't have to run back and forth to the sink. And then this I'm just super excited about. So this has a wand and it has different attachments and it's electric. So you charge it and then it scrubs like your showers and your bathtubs and all those things that are just really hard to clean. My master bath is really deep and I'm really short. So I always have to like climb in and scrub it. This is gonna help so much and I think it will really help get the bottom of my shower floor clean because I feel like no matter what I do, it never comes clean. So like I would say I'm most excited to try this. But in today's video, I'm going to try both of them and let you know if I like them. What they be? So it's already charged. I thought I was going to have to charge it, but it's already charged. That's great. Let's see here. Let me see how to connect. Mm -hmm. Before turning on the brush, be sure proper grab brush. Okay. Are you tickling me? <laughs> He's so cute. Give me a tickle me again. <laughs> Let's see, Pat Davis. Ready? Let's see if it works. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, Jay. I'm really excited about this. What do you think? Yeah. And I don't think he's very excited. But it comes with like a little booklet. This is not sponsored. <laughs> you tickling me. <laughs> I mean, how cute is he? <gasps> Can I have a kiss? Can I kiss? Give me a kiss. You. Right. Oh, my now I'm gonna open this mop. It's the O Cedar mop. Oh, sure. You could order it on Amazon, oh, I know for sure. Yep. Oh, yeah, do you want to help mommy? Yeah. Okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Is this gonna be a mop to clean our floor? Let's see. Yeah. Let's see what else is in here. Let's yeah. see. Oh, it's a bucket. comes with a bucket and inside the bucket are the mop heads and I think this attaches the wand is okay. a larger So these mop heads Mama. are removable and you can throw them in your washing Mama. machine is what the reviews say. Mama. What, baby? Mama. Yeah. So I think this just snaps off. So you screw this in to place and then you have to add this. So this is what it looks like, all fixed. 
and the pole is adjustable. And then here's the bucket. And I think the cool thing about it is when you need to wring it out, you put it in here and there's a button you push down on and it brings it out. So I'm super excited to try that. So I'm going to attempt to get this room, my master bath, clean before the baby wakes up. It's messy. We have about 10 minutes and I'm gonna try my new stuff. So we'll see how it goes. I don't understand why. Do any of your husbands do this? Just like lay random clothes in random spots in your bathroom and you don't know if they're clean or dirty. I mean, I never know what to do with these clothes. Do I put them in the hamper? Do I put them away? Like, what is the purpose? <music> bathtub and clean around it and I am so sure that I have to climb inside of the bathtub. Does anyone else have that problem? It's just the way it's made. There is no way that I can reach all the way back there without climbing inside. I am way too short for that. Way too short. This bathroom we are eventually going to update but for right now we are making do with what it is. I love this bathtub, but I'm not necessarily a fan of the tile around it. I feel like that was a very 90-ish style, and it's not really my personal preference. But for right now, I'm just super thankful to have a massive bathtub to relax at. in at the end of the day. That is my mommy time. Usually, at least four nights a week, I will end the day with a bath because I love it. I love to just sit and relax, and I am so thankful for this big bathtub even if it is a paint clean. I'm now going to use the new wand to see if I can clean the inside of this bathtub without having to get inside it and actually scrub it. I am so excited to try this new thing. When Brie used it on her channel, I thought I must have that. that it for sure helps break up some of the gunk, but I'm still going to have to get inside my bathtub and clean it because it didn't necessarily wipe all the dirt away. It kind of just broke the dirt off the side of the tub. Um, so I'm gonna get in there and still clean it. next and it's, it's kind of embarrassing to show you this but I need to clean all this stuff out and then I've really struggled ever since we moved in with getting the shower floor cleaned this is after I've used multiple products on it I've scrubbed it I've done all of my tricks this is still what my shower floor looks like so I really want to see if this brush will break some of that up 
Okay, so I just sprayed cleaner in there, and normally I would take my Enviro cloth and scrub it all, but I think today I'm going to try the electric wand first. So I'm gonna do it a little bit different than I did the bathtub. I'm gonna get the top wet, and I'm just using kind of like the pointed flat top. It's so dirty even from the bathtub, you can already see. So I'm gonna turn the water on, kind of clean that off, get it wet and then clean it and see what happens. All right, watch out, baby boy. Play. and where I have it. So I kind of just went right here in this groove and this side so far and look how much cleaner it is. So I would say this definitely works. It didn't work as fast as I was hoping it would, but this was kind of corroded. I mean, despite my best efforts, I just could not get that soap scum off and the dirt off. So I'm going to work on this and I'll show you all the finished product. It might take me longer than I had anticipated, but I'm super excited about this piece. <laughs> So the wand died on me. So I would say that you definitely, I mean, look at this hair, definitely a cleaning day. Anyways, you for sure need to charge it before you use it the first time. So I did not charge it. I just got it directly out of the box and it does have a little bit of battery power, but it needs charged so you can finish your project. This is where I got with the shower floor before the thing died. And even though it still needs some more work, I would say like that is a huge improvement. So like I said, you can see right here, where I still had full power of the brush. It really got it a lot cleaner. You could tell along the sides that it got cleaner. So I'm going to charge that and then finish this later today, but I am impressed by it for sure. Okay, so I loved the mop. Um, the only thing that's a little bit complicated is getting the head of the mop to actually snap into the pole, but it stays much wetter than my Norwax mop and it cleans just as well. Um, I did use a little bit of Clorox just because we're in the bathroom, but I think that you could totally just use water with the microfiber um, and it would clean just as well. But I really, really like it. And I didn't use the max amount of water. I just used a little bit since I was doing a smaller space and it worked perfectly. So I would say that that's a win. You should definitely invest in that mop. Okay, so the bathroom is clean. Ignore my dirty laundry. I wanted to show you guys a super cool feature. Ignore my dryer in the background. But the wand comes with a little hanger. And so you can just hang it. This is in my utility closet. And then you can hang it while it's charging. So that's super convenient for storing and for while it's charging. And then I just have the box with the extra heads up there for now. But I really, I'm kind of obsessed with that thing. I'm not gonna lie. So I would say that both of those cleaning products are a must have. I love them. I am obsessed with them and they have made cleaning so much easier and more efficient. I am super excited to see how clean I can actually get the bottom of my shower floor now once the wand is fully charged. Thank you Bits of Brie and Casper Crew for recommending those products in your video because they have made my mama life so much easier. But thank you all for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. I'll see you on the next video.